Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series of uh, Cleats and Cars one. It's, it was fun, fun time. And uh, but before we get into it, I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Simply Safe. Have you ever had bad guys trying to get into your place of business or home? Messing up your door or busting up your lock with a crappy knife? Protect your palace and keep it safe with Simply Safe and scare those fanboys away. Simply Safe is an easy to use, customizable home security system that is free from contracts and hidden fees. Systems are shipped right to your door where you can set them up on your own in record time. Your home is monitored 24 seven with the ability to check in at any moment straight from your phone. We have a smoke detector, carbon monoxide, indoor camera for like your fireplace or whatnot. This one actually is probably gonna go right about there just so I can see straight out the door at any given time. Then we have a motion detector and a glass break sensor, which will also end up going in that room. Entry sensors, glass break sensors, panic. Your home's monitored 24 seven. If anything happens, anything at all, the Simply Safe team will contact the authorities and they'll be sent on the way to your house. Other security companies are very expensive. Simply Safe interactive monitoring service begins at only 50 cents a day, two quarters. That's pretty good. So, home. Simply Safe on. Then we have the outdoor camera. The battery that goes inside this thing, easy to charge. This thing is totally cool. Features an ultra wide 140 degree field of view so you can keep watch over your entire outdoor space. It has an eight time zoom and built in spotlight with color night vision so you can capture closely what's happening. Look. I mean, that's nuts. And it has a two way audio. So you can talk to somebody that's on your property while you're away. Here it is, see the speaker? Yep, it's going home. And a reliable relationship focused service team. When you order it, it shows up straight at your door and it is very, very, very easy to set this whole thing up. You just do it all yourself. Visit simplysafe.com slash muscle raw shop to learn more and to get at least 30% off your Simply Safe security system. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode of Muscle Raw Shop and keeping the bad guys away. So what we got here today is a CUDA. This is uh, just a giant CUDA. And uh, w we actually need to move this car over in that area over there so I can back it up and take care of all the axle stuff. Not the axle, the rear suspension. So to get it over there, we're gonna use this guy, the Big Joe, driven by Tony. Well, I guess we're not gonna move it with this, but we're just gonna, we're gonna flex it. We're gonna flex it, dude. I wanna see how far up this thing can go. Okay, cause here's the deal. Here, here's, the, here's, the, here's the whole process. So we gotta take this thing and we gotta get the, the, the shackles fixed. We gotta put somewhat of a roll cage in it, like maybe a hoop and then two bars back. What is that, how many points is that? A five point? That's not a five point. Doesn't matter. So we gotta put some kind of thing like that, some seat belts. We gotta move the fuel filter system. That's gotta be tucked up in the frame because um, I'm pretty sure Matt's just gonna roll right over rock and completely destroy that piece. Okay, some, I don't know. So that's gotta go. Everything in here looks good. Um, gotta fix the brakes. The brakes need to be done. We got a whole list of things that need to be done, uh, including like gas cap needs to be put up here in the license plate area, not down there. It's not supposed to be there. As many things were done just to get it to clean some cars, but now it's got to be drivable and driven hard. So Matt's gonna come pick this up, the owner, he's gonna come pick this thing up and take it for a month and um, and then when it comes back, it's 
like whole entire phase two of the rest of this, you know, up to paint and completely done and out and goodbye. Oh, we also got to put a receiver on the back too. We got a lot of cool things coming with that. Just, I'll save that for later. But an important thing to know is how much will this thing flex if he's going over a crazy uh, embankment or something like that. So we're going to find out right now. So as you can see, my assistant is putting this forklift in there. This Rolling? thing, yeah, this thing's rated at 1,500 pounds. 1,500, Tony, that's the motor by itself. Probably, this is probably not a good idea, but it's only a wheel, you know, it's whatever. All right, we'll take her up. Just take her up until that, either the forklift breaks or something does. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. We've never done this before with this car, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, go. Oh. So we're up pretty far already. Hey, Tony, uh, move that thing side to side. Oh my, dude, look how much that tire flexes around. Do that again. That is not right. And the whole, the rim is staying straight. So, yeah, wow. Those tires move a lot. All right. go <laughs> Jesus. so the, the back wheels are still on the ground hold on hold on a minute let me do a walk around here all right where are we sitting oh looking good looking real good it is squatting the piss out of the back looking good so far Dude, I'm up back here. what dang so we got this spring over here is compressed. Oh, hey, look at this shackle back here. Look at that, guys. That's nuts. So that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that side looks about right. This right here. Let me back up a little bit. That piece of metal right there is the reason why. Uh, this is. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I put this piece of metal here just in case this overshoots and has it, it needs something to hit that's that's why that piece of metal is there all right so i mean it's looking pretty good so far lots of room in that wheel well all right come up with it oh ooh, something didn't sound good Let's see what it was i bet it's the the shackle bottomed out yeah shackle bottomed out <laughs> the other thing is way out so the only thing left here is actually for the spring to compress. But see, we're already sitting pretty close to the tire. But overall, not, not bad. And that's only what, a couple feet off the ground? Okay, let's go. Just a little, little more. Go. Go. One more. Go. One more. One more. It's still on the ground back here. Yeah, the, the back, the axle's still on the ground. We're waiting for the axle to come off, but, I mean, not break off, but. <laughs> Dude, we have like, um, maybe like an inch and a half before the fender touches the, um, the, the, the tires. Come up a little more. A little more. Okay. Okay, so now the axle is starting to come off the ground. The tires, the back tires are starting to come off. We're not gonna know for sure until this actually bounces off the ground. Max flex, go. A little more. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's maxed out. <laughs> Jeez. So he could probably even still turn all the way. You got an inch and a half. Up in there? Oh yeah. See, that's the one thing <coughs> that I was afraid of. If there was gonna be enough room between the frame and the tire having a shortened axle in here. And it looks like it worked out perfectly. So max flex on this, we still have an inch to two inches or so between the frame and the tire. But is that really max? 
It is max. We're not going any more than this. Jeez. Look how much that tire moved back. Hey, but at least we get a really good shot of the top of the car. <laughs> so we know this thing flexes pretty good. It's looking great, but will the doors open? Oh, God, they open perfect. Oh, and they shut like a cake, right? Oh, yeah. Stop. Does this door open? Oh, it does, good dude. Yeah, it's easier to get in there. No, it's even, oh yeah, don't even get in there. All right, well, it is time to let this thing back down. So we're gonna come back down with it. Hopefully nothing snaps. See if everything goes back in place <laughs> back here. Okay, go ahead. Huh. She's down. Yeah, looks like everything's normal again. Yeah, everything went right back in place, so that's good. Great stuff. So the next part we're gonna do on this, uh, this flex video is my colleague and I, meet Matt. I'm a scientist. Oh, he's a scientist, sorry. Yeah, so we're going to test out how much this, the, the frame actually twists. If it does at all, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna- We should place bets too. Place bets? Yeah. Okay, go. I don't know, I mean, like, how do, how do you measure it? But I bet it's gonna flex very little. I think it's gonna flex by a degree. So if at the front it's 0 0.2, at the back I think it's gonna go like one. I don't know. Like it's not only boxed, it's also, it's a one ton frame that's boxed and shortened, all way gonna help it not flex. Well, yeah, very true. I don't know. Very true. But if you're gonna go hardly any flex, I have to go a lot. You go a lot, I go none. Damn, and we're the one that's built it too. That's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Okay, so what we have is a level across the frame, the flattest part of the frame, where we know it's pretty good. So sitting on the ground right now, it's, it is pretty, pretty level. Not bad. And in the back, we're sitting at, we're sitting at, 0 0.2. That's on the main cross member across the back. Does that sound fair? Sounds fair. Sounds fair. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll leave it, actually we're gonna take this one off right now and put it on the front while Matt lifts uh, this thing back up to where it was yesterday, so. <laughs> How far am I lifting to the Okay, so that's the thing. When you start hearing, we notice that you just go until it starts making a lot of weird noises and then you can stop. Good Lord. Oh my God. Will I ever lift the other wheels off? Well, so this- That one's not, but- This back wheel starts- Getting light. It starts getting light. And I know, I know that that tire almost hits the, uh, the fender, so. Keep going? Yeah, go. Does that ever come off? Yeah, I, it's gotta be moving. It's wild here, this lift has this much power. Oh, I know, and look, it says right here, 1,500 pounds. Yeah. That is a yeah. lot more than 1,500 pounds. Yeah, that, that wheel is that sitting. That engine alone is 1,500 pounds. Or yeah. Back, but... oh. oh, we're off. Oh, okay. We're, we're floating in the back. Back wheel is off the ground. Okay, wow. And that is way up. How, how tall, do you, or how far do you think that wheel's off the ground? Three? Yeah, three. Oh, uh, three feet? Yep. Dude, that looks sick. Jeez. Okay, right now it's sitting at 15 degrees. That's a lot. So we actually can go down because I'm a little too high off. Okay, come down until that thing touches. Oh, wait. I guess the, is the inside wheel touching? Wait a minute. It's coming down by itself. You got a leak in your piston here. Is that inside wheel already touching? Yeah, we're touching. Yeah. That's it right there. Okay, so we got, let me do this again. 14.9 degrees. Okay, 14. So what do you think the back's gonna be? So we want it to be really close to that? It's definitely not. No, I think it's, it's it. oh, look at this. Look at that leaf spring. Definitely flattened it out. <laughs> Jeez. Well, look at the angle on right, the, on the, 
this like weird curve it's got going on. And see way back there, it's touching the frame. Yeah, that's where we're getting a lot of flex right there. Okay, I think it's gonna be, let's see, 14.9 up front. Let's, I'm, I'm going for, I'm gonna go for 11.5. I'll go for nine. <laughs> nine? <laughs> no. Yeah. That's, I think it's that's a not, lot less. That's not a lot of faith. I know. All right, here we go. Ready? All right. Oh, 12. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Not good so a two degree flex, that's not bad. What do you think? Um, in my scientific opinion. You get, okay, thumbs up. Paul, we got a two degree flex when it's that high off the ground. I think this needs to be a little bit thicker. Thicker? Okay. Thicker is better. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll definitely uh, I'm all restructure all this. I want to restructure all this. I want to restructure all this. Should we go up to see how high until it rolls? Dude, I think that thing is going to end up snapping. Oh my god. <laughs> that <laughs> that forklift is pretty strong. Dude, this forklift is legit. Big Joe's pretty stout. Big Joe is stout. Wow. Well, there you go. Two degree. Hey, I noticed something. This uh, door gap really closed up a lot right here. Did it really? Yeah, it was definitely it not really that tight. Really Let me see. Ooh, yeah, it touches now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, I mean, the door gaps aren't even set on this. So don't go rock crawling in it. Oh no, you can. Just not, not to the extreme. You should. We'll just make sure that we'll just make the gap a real big. So. Yeah. Looks normal. So once there's a cage in this, yeah, that's true. And there's not just three bolts holding the fender on. That will be interesting to see how much more rigid it makes when the car's all put together with the cage. With the cage, yeah. And, I mean that cage is going to extend all the way up here, right? Yeah, the cage will go uh, in yeah. the engine compartment forward the frame up here. to here. That's what these plates are for. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be way solid. Yeah, it'll be to make it a lot stronger. Well, that's the end of that video. You want to do an outro, Matt? Yeah, so uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next video is we're going to put a baby turbo inside this air filter right here to pressurize air. What a perfect idea. Mm -hmm. We get one of those electric turbos, those like cheap Chinese electric Ooh, turbos. Oh, the Amazon thing. Put it right here and pressurize. It's, it's the best that you've ever had. <laughs> Thanks for watching Muscle Rod Shop. Uh, we do all kinds of custom work, so come down and I'll, I'll do some welding for you, whatever you need. And uh, be sure to check back for more videos. We love you. We'll see you next time.